Hello, Chamber friends. This is Eric Spoonmore, president of the Greater Bloomington Chamber of Commerce, back to report another Chamber Insider Update. August was a terrific and very busy month for us with several new members joining the Chamber. In addition to all the new members, we held eight ribbon cuttings at businesses across the community last month. I want to take a few moments to recognize all the new members that joined us last month, including State Representative Dave Hall, Civic Member Jillian Thebe, Alumni Hall on Kirkwood Avenue, Edward Jones, the Stephen Fortune Office on South Sare Road, Spencer Pride Incorporated, the Cat's Closet on Pete Ellis Drive, the Exchange Club of Northside Bloomington, Meineke Car Care Center on West Industrial Boulevard, Lamb Real Estate and Keller Williams, whose office is located on West 2nd Street, Rainbow Bakery on Rogers Street, and Mother Hubbard's Cupboard. We are delighted to welcome all of these new members into the chamber, and we look forward to supporting their success in our community. And last week was the Chamber's 108th annual meeting where we celebrated the Chamber's many contributions to the community. To see over 500 of our members gathering for the annual meeting and community award celebration was truly a profound experience for me and our team. It's a testament that for more than a century, the Greater Bloomington Chamber of Commerce has been making a difference and working to improve the quality of life in our community through a thriving business sector. I want to give a special shout out to all of our community award winners and especially to our Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Christopher Schrader. To see a full listing of our 2023 awardees, you can visit our website at chamberbloomington.org. And finally, I want to take a moment to share some updates on staffing with the Chamber team. This summer provided an opportunity for the Chamber to fine tune our operating plan and realign our staffing model to deliver greater value to the members we serve. As you may have heard, Katie Lorenzen was recently promoted to Communications and Events Director. I'm very pleased that Katie will lead all of our events, marketing, and strategic communications with the goal of strengthening the Chamber's visibility, influence, and impact in the community. In addition, Katie Sensabaugh is now leading the Chamber's internal operations and our 501c3 foundation, including all of our Success School programming. We deeply appreciate all our members who support the Chamber's Success School and the partnerships we have with our local public schools. Katie has done a great job of leading these initiatives, and I know she'd be eager to work with any of our members who are interested in utilizing our resources to build career awareness with students in our public schools. And then Stacy Bruce will continue her excellent work directing and growing our membership initiatives. And of course, Christopher M.G. continues to direct our public policy and advocacy work. In addition, we have seven awesome interns this year from a variety of backgrounds that are joining us from IU and Bloomington High School North and South and they're working to support the great work our team is doing as well. So that's all for now. I'll be back in a couple of weeks to focus our next update on a number of public policy issues impacting the business community, including public safety, city and county budgets, a possible news site from Monroe County Jail, and other topics we're following closely. Until then, thanks for all that you do for the community and for the Greater Bloomington Chamber of Commerce.